Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my Harley Quinn mallets. I currently have two mallets and I am in the stages of making another one um, but that is to come with a cosplay at a later date. But for now I thought I would show you the two that I have currently made and a good look at the detail on them. I've had quite a lot of people ask me at conventions where I got my mallets from and also people asking me how I made them. So I thought for now I would show you them. I will eventually do a video on how I make them, so a time lapse and an in-depth look on what actually I use etc to make them. But for now, yeah, I'll just get straight into the video and I'll show you my two mallets. So keep on watching guys. So the first mallet I'm going to show you guys is one that you have probably seen about and if you haven't seen it in my previous videos on photo shoots you would have seen it on my Instagram or my model Facebook page because this is the mallet I use when I shop with Digi Steve um, and this is my squad styled mallet. I absolutely love this mallet so much. I decided to make this when I knew I was shooting with Digi Steve because I wanted a mallet to go with my latex mashup style um, cosplay. So I decided to create this. Um, it's got the smiley faces on each end and then it's got the diamonds all the way around it. As you can see, yeah, I absolutely love this mallet. I kept it very similar to the film with the bright royal blue handle and then the black tape at the end. The only thing I didn't put on this mallet was the writing around here just because I put so much time and effort into all of this like wood styled chipping that I thought it would ruin it if I just like painted like writing around it. In the future if I do make these for anyone else I would be happy to put the writing around there if that's something that you wanted but for me personally it was already kind of a mashup cosplay so it didn't have to be completely correct to the squad style um, mallet. It is a lot bigger than the one that Margot uses in the film. You only literally see it for the like smallest amount of time ever like it flashes in and flashes out before you even know it's just kind of has it there pulls a face and then it's gone so um i watched the film to see what kind of size it was so i thought oh at first i thought i'll get a completely screen correct one i didn't like how small it was um i looked online everywhere and a lot of them weren't to the style I wanted and they were very very expensive like coming to around the £150 mark even some nearly the £200 mark and I thought I can make one for that so yeah I decided to go and get the bits that I needed to make this Um I love how it turned out it sits on top of these shelves here with my other mallet as well um, so I can see it because I'm that proud of it um, I will say the one thing I was worried about with these was getting them into conventions but to my surprise this wasn't the worry getting into convention it was actually my Harley gun that they checked so I got this in fine they just kind of like tapped the top because they didn't believe that it was hollow and that it was not actual wood. I walked in with it and they were like oh you can't take that in it's a block of wood and I was like no no it's just painted listen it's hollow. It's cardboard. <laughs> um, doing wrong, it's a very sturdy cardboard. As you can see, I can hit it very hard. So if you drop it or anything like that, there's no worry that you will indent it or ruin it. The same with the inside. I've stuffed it with um, foam and also like a lining. So it's basically, if you hit this, you're not gonna basically put a hole through this because that was my other worry when I was making a mallet. Uh, I've seen a lot of tutorials online about just sticking foam on here and I thought well what if you catch it like when I'm on the way there or something or someone someone accidentally hits it wrong or catches it on someone else's cosplay prop you could put a massive hole through this so this is all padding underneath and I have layered lots of layers of foam up um, but like I say I will do a video on how I make these etc I've said that in my previous video on these that I would do a time lapse um, video on how I make these etc when I get round 
to actually making a new one because I'm already in the stages of making another one so I have to wait until I've got another one planned or somebody messages me asking me to make them one um, then I will film myself making that one and give you a really good look at what I use and what technique I do to make them but yeah this is my squad one I absolutely think that it turned out just the way I wanted um, people may not like it because it's not exactly the right size for the one that's in the movie it's not screen correct um, but for me I prefer it to be more of a statement piece a bit bigger um, which this one is it's uh, compared to the size of my head you can see it's quite it's quite big so I would prefer it to be more to the original Harley mallet standards of size than the one that's in the Suicide Squad film because I think that is just a little bit small and I don't think you would get as much nice detailing on it so yeah on to my second mallet and this mallet is for my mashup of the Jester style Harley outfit that I have got um, I have shown it on here it's a latex piece by Black Sheep Latex but this mallet is for that outfit but I've got some bits and bobs coming for that outfit and I'm going to be shooting that in a couple of weeks I think um, so this mallet is for that Outfit and that mallet looks like this so I have got the three diamonds on this side and then you flip it and you've got the red diamonds on this side this one is a bit more of a lighter styled wood more to the classic style mallet um, whereas the squad one is a lot more of a darker styled wood and that one if you look at the film it's kind of a lot more like details on the very very like rim of the mallet whereas this one I've kind of like brought it quite far in the chippings and like here I've done just like a long line of a chip here so yeah I've gone to town on this one doing like little chips around the edges and the same on the opposite side I've gone really to town on creating the chipped effect on here making sure the edges are really not like completely circle and more kind of got more indents and dints in it etc but this one the handle is black and then the tape around the handle is a bright red with the squad style one I kept it original and kept blue and black with this one I've gone black and a bright red I think this pop of red on the like bottom of it is really nice when you hold it like this for photo shoots it just really pops at the bottom um i thought that i was gonna do the more classic like your face here and then the diamonds here and then put the banding around the base the middle bit of the mallet but i decided against that because i thought well my outfit is not classic it's more of my own take on it so i thought i'd do the same thing with the mallet and do my own take on the mallet but I'm super happy with the way this turned out. I am doing more of an original styled one for when my Jester outfit um, comes. And I've also got another prop for that that I'm super excited about. Um, it's a gun, but it's the um, cork styled gun. I've had that made, um, so that's on its way as well. And I'm super excited for that all to come together. But right now, I don't know how long my Jester outfit is gonna be getting to me. So it's kind of half made that mallet. I haven't finished it yet. I'll get around to it probably about in the next month or two. Um, I think that'll be ready for when I go to a convention in September, the charity one that I am doing. I am a guest at that convention. So I might make a few mallets and take them to that as well because I'm hopefully going to have a table there with my prints etc. So I'm thinking I might make a few mallets and sell them there because I think that would be a really good thing for people to be able to get their hands on them at a good price and also a percentage of the money is going towards a children's charity so that's really nice as well. So yeah I absolutely think this mallet turned out better than what I expected. Um, I'm really excited about making more of these. As I've stated before in my previous video, um, I am going to put these eventually up on my Etsy store. If you are interested in me making you one, please drop a comment below with your email address in and just put at the side of it, 
would like a mallet or, or that you are interested in um, speaking to me about getting a mallet and I will email you because as soon as I put them on Etsy I am going to have to put them at more of an expensive price due to the fact I've got to pay Etsy fees etc which is a bit of a bummer I know but I have to pay them a fee on there for selling on their website and also once I have sold them they take a percentage of whatever you sell them for so you do have to rack up the price a bit on there for that simple fact but if you are interested like I said just do that in the comments below um, but yeah I think I'm going to leave that video here today for you guys I hope you enjoyed having a close-up look at these mallets I'm gonna at the end of this video just do some really nice close-up shots of the mallet so you can see the tiny little details on these but thank you guys for watching if you would like to like this video that would be great and also if you could subscribe to my channel that would be amazing but that's all for now guys so thanks for watching see you guys later bye